Good morning, I'm Nick Johansson with Castanet's AIM Update for Friday, September 2nd. Here are this morning's top stories. A Kelowna man who's running his first ever Ironman triathlon in Wisconsin on September 11th says he won't be letting his diabetes slow him down. Tyler McClellan was diagnosed with type 1 diabetes when he was just 14 years old, and he's now lived with the disease for 25 years. He's one of 49 members of the Riding on Insulin Endurance team, all of who have trained for a year for the race. McClellan says he'll have to closely monitor what he eats and drinks during the race. Employees at Walmart say campers sleeping in the store's parking lot have been causing a safety concern for those who work late there. One employee says people sleeping overnight have become threatening, yelling, panhandling, and causing problems. Another employee said 27 needles have been found in the parking lot in just one day. Employees there have been warned to be extra cautious when leaving work at night. A new condo in town will offer micro-homes starting at just $100,000. The Cambridge House, which will be located on the corner of Ethel Street and Leon Avenue, will have the majority of its units to be just 313 square feet. To take advantage of the small space, developers will be offering space-saving amenities like Murphy beds and adjustable tables. Units will go on sale September 17th, and the building is expected to be completed in 2018. The South Spencer Road wildfire burning near Lytton is now 30% contained, as fire crews continue to protect properties in the area. The fire began early Wednesday morning and quickly grew to the heavy winds, reaching 500 hectares in size. An evacuation order and alert was issued for several homes within the first, Lytton First Nation and the Thompson Nicola Regional District. Crews continue to fight the blaze this morning. For up-to-date news throughout the day, keep an eye on castnet.net. I'm Nick Johansson.